Hey guys, Cloud Wolf here, and before I get the video started, I just want to let you guys know I have my uh, a Twitter for my YouTube channel where I'm going to be posting some questions and stuff because I'm thinking of doing a question and answer if you guys want. So you can post questions in the comments of this vid or any vid you want, and I'll record them and keep them. Or you can post a question or comment or question on uh, my Twitter page, which is uh, in this description, link right there, a quick picture of it. And um, other than that, guys, let's just get started. Hey guys, what is up? And today we are going to be going over uh, player based chat, uh, player paced chat, as suggested by Slowmo Joe on the comments page of my YouTube channel. And uh, this is for chat that I use in Quantum Labs and chat that I used in um, A Weekend in Hartsville and all those maps. Uh, so this is chat where you can click a next button and it will like advance the chat as it goes. So I'm just gonna give myself a command block real quick. And we're gonna go through it step by step and it's really easy. So first you wanna give yourself a command block and you wanna place it down. Then you wanna go to this website, which is oops, minecraftjson.com. And then I put a dot at the end as well. I don't think it works without the dot at the end. Right here, it's not showing, but it's .com and then a dot like that. Um, previously, it didn't work without putting the dot. And just to show you, here we go. So then you go to their, oops, then you go to their tell raw and um, you change it from at p to at a up here. Then you click add text. So if you want to create it so the player is saying something, go to selector, then do at p. And I like to use the color green, okay, um, to show the player and then dark green to show their thoughts with uh, gray text. So then I use the green. Then I do another one and I click do an arrow, with it, which is green. This is just all up to you, however you want to make the chat look. Um, this isn't really player text chat. And then like text, oh, wait. I am a cool guy. <laughs> okay, and then you just leave it none to make it white. So it'll be at P, I am a cool guy. So you copy and paste that, then you get your text back in here. And that that little, um, this will be left in the description with this saying like next, if you wanna just copy the tell raw, you don't have to have it. Then you put it and you put a uh, pressure plate on top and it'll say, I am a cool guy. So how are you gonna activate this? So it's kind of compli uh, like pretty simple, not too complicated. So we have this text and now we're going to add after I am a cool guy, we're gonna hit space, then the parentheses and next. So there's two options. You can either add it on or you can add it afterwards. So I do add it on, but I am actually going to change it to have to add it afterwards. And then you do in the run command, you do slash TP at E tag equals text tilde and whatever direction it is. So I'm going to make it go this way, which is negative in the X. So up to and over two, like that, boom. So now if I go like this and I put it in here again, you'll see that it says next, right? So then you're gonna wanna summon an armor stand. So slash summon armor stand here, then parentheses, tags like that, and give it a tag of text. And that's really all you need. You can give it invulnerable one if you want to make it invulnerable but there you go so what's going to happen is when you click the next it'll advance the chat like that so if you have another one over here it'll advance the chat and um, another one i do is i close take that off and i put um person so this will be in the uh, in the description as well just make sure that you be careful because there could be some like weird um some weird squares that appear that happens when you copy long commands uh, from the chat but so i click next and it advances the chat. I am a cool person. So that's why all my places have like command blocks like that. Um, now the alternative version, so this is a really quick one, but the alternative version is to take this off and uh, we have all that and then just create a separate one that is basically just a ton of spaces. And then it says next. And this will put it in the, it should put it in the bottom right hand corner of your bar. So that's not quite far enough. So we'll put a couple more spaces. Uh, not quite far enough to where I want it. You can adjust it however you want. Oh, a little too far. Perfect, okay. And then we can get rid of the other next. So this will just give the players a constant place to be clicking instead of having to click next. It's just down here. And if they click it, it'll do the same, teleport the text forward. Um, the last thing you wanna do is do game rule, send command feedback false. Um, so this works, but if it's on a multi, if they try and run this uh, adventure map on a multiplayer server, it will not work uh, because the um, the you need to have permissions to click the next button. 
Um, but that's pretty cool. I'm probably going to use that bottom corner next because it's more convenient. Um, another thing you want to note is uh, the text chain can only be so long because it has to be in your spawn chunk. So you want to set the world spawn and you have a 100 by 28 by 128 area. So what you're going to have to do is put a command block at the end and find the coordinates of your next chain like that. And go, what is it? It is slash tp at e tag equals text. And then you want to get the coordinates. This is 170, 57, and then 33. So you want to get that and paste it in there. So when you get to the end, it'll teleport the text over here to the next chain. So that's how you can make it like shrunk up and kind of in a square shape instead of just a long line. Um, it also, what you want to do is when the text is supposed to end, so, for example, if the text ends, um, let me just tell the text to me. If the text is supposed to end over, like, right here, right? What you can do to save space, because this will be, like, I like to put a tip at the end, because the tip tells them what next to do. So you can just go here and go tip, jump, I don't know, whatever you want for the tip, okay? And I do it in aqua so that it's um, really easy to see. Bright blue is really easy to see. Um, wherever aqua is and um, i can just put none on there copy and paste so the end of your command chain what you can do to save space is put the move forward one two and right there so you can have two chains in the same line um, because the armor stand is going to teleport every other and it'll never get to these commands it'll just go here and then here and then here so it'll just keep going over it so the player can't like find the later text um, but make sure that you have other commands that teleport the uh, armor stand where it's supposed to go when the player is supposed to see the new text. So just teleport over here. Um, that's pretty much it. The last thing, which is a little more complicated, is to create a way so the player never misses the chat. So you have to do scoreboard, objectives, add, leave, stat dot, leave game. Then what you want to do is slash execute at a with score underscore leave underscore min equals one slash tp at e tag equals text and then maybe teleport it up like one block or you can teleport it over one block we can go like this um but you also need a delay so you want to teleport it like maybe up one block then what you want to do is do slash tp uh, slash scoreboard players set at a with score underscore leave underscore min equals one leave zero so it'll reset their leave score okay we're going to teleport up two just in case then you want to power this with like a lever suggest using levers instead of always active because it's kind of buggy so when i leave the world and i come back in the world you'll see the text gets teleported up so now if i teleport the text to me real quickly here you go you can see the chat right so this is why you need it so i leave the game and i'm mid chat chain now the chain is gone, the word is gone, but now it's back. So then they can get it back and they can see what there should be on on the chat. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's how you use the player-driven, player-paced chat. Um, that's all for today, guys. I'll be coming up with more videos uh, in the near future. I'm working really hard on a map with Vu6, if you're Vu4, if you're wondering. Um, but other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.